The Hyogo Earthquake Engineering Research Center in Japan is home to the largest three-dimensional earthquake testing facility in the world. A shaking table that holds full-size buildings produces movement almost identical to the ground motion produced by an actual earthquake. This is a device that can replicate the motion of an actual earthquake. Backwards, forwards, left to right, up down, the device is capable of creating movement in three directions simultaneously. It's reported that the shaking table is moved by 24 machines powered by four 4,300 horsepower gas engines. The center was established in the aftermath of the Kobe earthquake of 1995. As a result of that quake, over 100,000 buildings were damaged and more than 6,000 people lost their lives. There were an unprecedented number of casualties and an unprecedented amount of damage. Bridges and reinforced concrete buildings were destroyed. Timber frame buildings collapsed. The damage was vast. Many of the structures that collapsed were thought to be earthquake resistant, and their failure led to changes in the way researchers tested structural resistance to seismic motion. To prevent damage on this scale from reoccurring, scientists and technical developers are producing new innovations. But to know how useful these innovations are, how they mitigate damage, their efficacy must be backed up by research data. Gathering that data through testing full-scale structures on a device that can simulate powerful earthquakes is the primary mission of this facility. Previous tests aimed at establishing the resistance of buildings to seismic movement were conducted on scale models, but devastation in Kobe and other places revealed that scaled-down models exhibit different behaviors of destruction to full-scale structures. Working with both academics and developers from the private sector, it's hoped that data gained from testing will eventually provide a standard to incorporate into building codes and practice. The center has recently used the three-dimensional testing facility to assess how high-rise buildings will react to long-period ground motion. The chance of an earthquake generating long-period ground motion occurring in the near future is extremely high. In cities like Osaka or Tokyo, there are high-rise buildings over 300,000 feet tall. Some are even over 650,000 feet tall. As a result of this kind of earthquake, buildings like this sway vigorously. From left to right, the floor can move up to three meters, and the motion can last for two minutes. Due to the movement of furniture, for example, it becomes extremely dangerous for people in these buildings. Until the experiments were conducted at the center, there were no observations or physical tests to show how high-rise buildings would react to long-period ground motion. In all probability, the buildings that are well-designed will survive, but the situation within individual rooms within these buildings is very dangerous. I think that the video that we have recorded provides an accurate and very realistic simulation of the kind of impact this kind of seismic activity will have on individual rooms within high-rise buildings. It therefore has a very high educational value.